Ever since I was a kid, my only aspiration was to be an actor, to be an opera artist. Hi, my name is Nick Shen and I'm the founder of Tok Tok Chang. I started Tok Tok Chang to promote arts and culture in Singapore. And why Tok Tok Chang? Because my grandfather used to be a drummer backstage. So whenever I hear Tok Tok Chang, it's like the sound of the drum and I can totally resonate with it. My grandmother, she would carry me in the arm to watch Chinese opera when I was one or two years old. And I was fascinated by the opera artists on stage, especially the costumes, the props, even the painted faces. I was actually working with Mila Kok full time for a couple of years as an artist. Actually, I never stopped working with Mila Kok. It's just that I didn't sign the full time contract with them. Right now, I'm on a freelance contract, which gives me more flexibility. The first time when I performed on stage when I was 13 was an amazing experience because it took me a lot of courage. So, at the age of 13, I ran away from home because that was the only way for me to perform on stage. I was set one during my June holiday. I wrote a letter to my dad and I told him that, you know, uh, Father, I'm going to my classmate's place during school holiday because I want to find a part-time job and experience life. In the middle of the night, I just packed my bag and I just went off. And I went to District Opera backstage and I told one of the actress, Auntie, I want to perform here. Then she said, No, I learned so how more let's go to me. And then I explained to her that I'm only coming here to perform for one month during school holiday. And uh, I, I spoke to the troop leader. She allowed me to perform there. And uh, one day my my actors fees, can you guess how much was it? It was only three dollars. After one month I went back home. My dad paid me for the entire night and slept me continuously. It was a painful experience. However, uh, that one month of uh, street opera performance was actually one of the best times in my life. Given a chance, I will run away from home again. <laughs> I took over Lao Sai Taoyuan. It's a 154-year-old Chinese opera troupe in Singapore. The oldest opera troupe and one of the most famous troupe in the past. They wanted to close down last year and I thought it's a pity because it has been around for so many years and my grandfather used to be a backstage at this opera troupe. I feel that the audience are getting lesser and lesser and the actors on stage are getting older and older, like 60, 70. Our oldest actors is actually 82 years old this year. I think they've been acting in street opera for so many years. Their feelings and their sentimental values for the troupe is much stronger than me. So so if I can take up the courage and let this street opera carry on, at least they will still find purpose in their life and they can still come here and perform. Chinese opera is a dying art in Singapore because maybe the younger generation don't really understand the dialect because usually Chinese opera is performed in different dialects. We have Teochew opera, Hokkien opera, Cantonese opera, Hainanese opera, etc. <laughs> I think the younger generation, they just have more choices these days. But in the past, like in the 60s and 70s, street opera used to be like the Korean boy band, used to be like any big concerts, you know. And in the past, you have to bring your own chairs to the street opera stage to watch. So I think these are the various reasons that the younger generation do not appreciate this dying art. Sometimes as uh, you go through different phases of life, you realise that in life, it's not just about making money. It's about creating something that's meaningful and having a positive impact for other people. So that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, I hope that more people will come and appreciate this art and more people will support street opera. Thank you.